The Clinkhammer Special. Hans von Klinken devised um, a novel way to tie this fly, incorporating a parachute hackle technique. Uh, this gives a uh, representation to an emerging, emerging caddis fly where the body is still sitting under the surface while the hackle w and wing make sure that the fly floats. This is an excellent pattern for emergers uh, and tied on a curved uh, caddis hook. Materials for this fly. Hook, you could use a clink hammer hook or a curved hat caddis hook uh, and bend it uh, slightly halfway along the shank. Thread. Your option, uh, black 6080, depending on hook size. Wing, uh, gray CDC or polypropylene yarn. Body, tan dubbing fur or any color such as olive, black, or brown to match the insect. Thorax is peacock curl and hackle is a dun rooster tied parachute style. We're going to tie the, uh, we're going to tie the clink hammer special, which uses a curved hook, but the is bent a little bit to be straight so that the wing could be added to the top and uh, this lower section is where the uh, emerger section is where the body will be underwater while the top part will be tied with a parachute so first we're going to start with our thread and uh, we're going to work with the flat section of the hook and then uh, build a uh, a little bit of a thread base and will tie in a uh, wing of uh, CDC feathers. So I took uh, two CDC feathers, laid them uh, dull sides to each other, wet my fingers just a bit just to get the clumps together. Then I'm going to measure the tips, line them up with the right by the eye of the hook, and I'm going to say that that's about half the shank length. Then I'm going to move it onto the flat section of the hook right in the middle and secure this in place lifting it up and putting a couple of wraps in front like a thread dam to hold the feather up a little bit and then I'm going to take my scissors and trim all of this off. And then I'll go behind it and lock those down, go back in front, and then I'll build a, I'll start wrapping around the base of the, of the wing post so that when I tie the hackle in, I have a uh, pretty sturdy post to tie the parachute hackle. Now I'm going to take a hackle. It's about a size 12 measured for a size 12 uh, dry fly hook. I'm going to put it on the far side of the post. Leave a little section of the bare section that I've tr uh, take, took the webby stuff off from. And now I will secure the hackle behind the post on the far side. I will lift it up and I will lock the feather up the post so that when we start to tie it'll be higher so that I can get each wrap underneath it. So we want to make sure that it still has the shiny side up, that when I wrap it, it'll lock in against the post. Now I'll trim the uh, stem off. And now bring my thread to where the bend of the hook would be. And the, to get a good uh, measurement, the bend of the hook would be about a 30 degree angle from the point to the thread, make forming a 30, 30 degree angle about, and we'll start the dubbing there. 
So we're going to take some dubbing, twist it on the, the thread to start forming a dubbing noodle. Slide it up a bit. And now I'll just get this started. I'll very thin. We're going to end up going up the create the body, but we're going to taper it on the way up. So we'll just keep creating more. Just twist it in one direction. Very fine amount. Don't overdo it. And as I build the body up, it'll start getting a little thicker, touching wraps so that each wrap is next to each other. This makes a nice tight body using less dubbing fur. And if you don't use wax, it'll slide right into position. But like I said, you have to really use very little to build a nice tight body. To moisten your fingers at any points to help you out. And I'm going to stop right at the at a transition point where the the hook curves and starts to become straight. So I just want to build just a little more right there, right at that spot. Very little. Bring it up. And because here I'm going to put the thorax on, which will be a peacock curl. Okay, now I'm going to tie in two peacock hurl fibers. And I'm going to twist them to make a rope. And now I'm going to wrap I'm going forward, but before I go forward, I'm going to put the thread behind the wing. So now I'm going forward with nice touching wraps, and then I'm going to go to the eye. Stop. Don't go all the way to the eye. And now I'm going to work my way back. Hold the peacock curl up and just secure it at the wing post. And then cut the peacock curl off. Now I'm going to take my hackle pliers, grab the tip of the hackle, and I'm going to wrap towards me around the base of the CDC feather, the wing post. And each wrap that I do around the post, I wrap underneath 
the previous uh, wrap. So I'm basically going underneath each wrap around the wing post. And then I'll stop, hold it towards the bend of the hook, and I'll take my thread and secure it right underneath the wraps. This is now secure. I'll take my scissor and trim the hackle out. A couple of things I could do. I could either take the fly out of the hook and reposition it so that it's up and down horizontal to make it easy for me to whip finish or I could take my whip finish tool reposition the tool and run the thread underneath the hackle and secure it in place and then take my scissor and just run it right by the thread and cut. So this is the completed uh, clink hammer. You can see that it has a nice parachute. This will sink underwater. This will help it float CDC feather and so will the, uh, pe the hackle around. Uh, you can also uh, if you really want, drop a little bit of head cement right at the base uh, to uh, help secure the hackles in place. Just a little head cement right at the base and I'll lock it all into place.